and I just wanted to give a quick tutorial on how to make a bottle rocket launcher. Um, what it involves is the two liter bottles of pop, clear bottles of pop, like this, um, and some water, and a little bit of DIY. Here you go. Here is the final product, um, and I'll just take you on a quick little tour. and then I'll explain how I went about making it. So, what you will need is a junction box, this piece here. Um, it is at your local store, Home Hardware, uh, Canadian Tire. Um, it's called a knockout junction box because you can knock out any of the pieces you want. So, one, two, three, and then there's three on the other side and there's two here on the bottom and two on the outsides here and here um, and what I did was I punched out this middle knockout um, and that's where I put the tube the, the tube stopper um, so the junction box next you'll need um, a eye ring screw um, it probably goes down, I'd say, yay deep. I wish I had taken this video before so I could show you each individual piece. However, um, one of these, and this will be for the rip cord to go through just to keep it steady. Um, on this side is a large nail, very large nail. Um, and that will go into the ground to secure it in place so you would hammer it down with a mallet of some sort or a hammer. Um, the other part is the valve. So in the middle of this stopper here is just a regular old bike valve um, and the bottom, if I just unscrew this here, you can see where you can attach a little foot pump to that. So I would attach my foot pump here, and that's where I could put the pressure into the bottle. Um, next, I used wood screws. So there's one, two, three on that side, three on this side, and I used three on the inside of the junction box, here, here, and here. And I made sure to put washers on that just so it would stay down um, with the screw. Uh, another thing important to do here is leak or drill one hole for leaking um, and for the water to wash out. I'm sure it would wash out the sides. here, 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 and here, um, and then that one there. So when the water, when the rocket is released, the water can um, leak out. <clears throat> um, the other thing you'll need is the wood. So one, two pieces of two by four, and one piece of plywood about half an inch to three quarter inch thick. Um, and I would recommend visiting your local uh, lumber store for that. Um, the one I went to was able to just reach into their scrap bucket and um, cut me a couple pieces because I told them I was doing a project for the classroom. Um, and the last piece you'll need to do this is your um, rocket. And again, it's two liter bottles, you'll need two of them. Um, and it's good to have the kids design this the way they'd like. Um, this is the one I made in my science class at the Faculty of Education at Brock University. Um, and essentially it's one full bottle on the bottom and one bottle on the top with the bottom cut off. 
So you can see in there, that's the bottom of that one. And the other one is slipped onto the top. Now you leave the cap on top of the top and you open the bottom one. Now the thing where the students get to design is the wings. Um, so this one was put together just, you know, probably 25 minutes um, wing design. But uh, kids can get creative with how they do their wings. And you just use a little bit of duct tape. So duct tape here to secure the two bottles together. Um, and duct tape to attach the wings to the bottle. And then you will fill this part here with water. Then this would be tipped on its side. The water is in here. And you attach it to your valve. And voila, a water bottle rocket launcher. Um, hopefully I'll have video up soon of how the actual launch goes. And that's it. Oh, and the last part you need is a pull cord. simply go like this to hold that in place and then the pins attach to the rip cord which you'd pull out and your rocket will launch. So that is what you need to make a bottle rocket launcher. Good luck. Um, post some comments please if you've done this before, um, if you have any additions for how you would make it better or um, maybe some photos of what you've done with your class. One piece I forgot to mention was what I used as the actual test tube stopper. Um, it is a bottom chair rubber stopper. So there's a hole here um, where the chair would go in and what I did was simply drill the hole through the middle part and pulled the valve through. Everybody wants to do it, do the kangaroo. Come on, come on, come on, do it, do the big salute. Everybody wants to do it, do the big protest time.